meet American pilot Doug Rodante, head of Green Flight International. Doug believes biofuel is vital to the future of aviation for economic and security reasons. The Department of Defense has predicted energy wars with China within 10 years unless the United States becomes more energy independent. In 2005, the Department of Defense spent an additional $3 billion on jet fuel. That $3 billion should have went to other programs of national defense, it didn't. To put his beliefs into action, Doug assembled a team of aviation experts under the Green Flight banner. Their goal, to fly a jet entirely on biofuel, something that had never been done before. The jet in question is the versatile L-29 military trainer, known for its ability to use a variety of different fuels, including bio-based. The challenge is to ensure that biofuel still performs in the cold temperatures of high altitude. Biofuel is similar to diesel. Um, there's some cold flow properties. In other words, it freezes at a certain temperature, usually a little bit higher than diesel or jet fuel. Uh, so that's the main concern in aviation. Luckily, we have fuel heaters in the aircraft, and that prevents that problem. We've put test equipment in there to ensure that uh, our fuel is going to stay at a certain temperature. To further reduce the risk of failure during test flights, the Green Flight team also experimented with a number of different biofuel mixtures. The test engine is the exact same engine on the aircraft, except it's on an engine stand. So we can test whatever kind of fuel in whatever kind of condition that we want to and simulate that being in the aircraft. Yeah, everything looks good, fuel looks good, it's within specification, so now we'll move forward to conduct the test in the actual aircraft. Even with the right plane and a ground-tested fuel mixture, there are risks, especially high above the ground. Here's the big concern. We're using a single-engine jet, one engine, uh, with a 100% experimental fuel. So if something would have went wrong, if, if something that we missed uh, uh, would have caused the aircraft or the engine to stop working, uh, there was not another engine to fall back on. So we had to be absolutely sure that what we were doing worked 100%. On a clear day in October, Doug Rodante and co-pilot Carol Sugars take off on their first test flight. They take the L-29 up to 17,000 feet. First flight, we used recycled vegetable oil and started with 100% jet fuel and transitioned our way to 100% biofuel. It's the very first time an aircraft has flown entirely on biofuel. But a short test flight is only the starting point, and the team quickly sets their sights on a far bigger challenge, a trans